The United States is slapping additional sanctions on entities and individuals that have worked with Iran and North Korea. Chinese entities and individuals topped the sanctions list, drawn up at a time when Washington has been pressuring Beijing to exert its sizable influence over Pyongyang. Connie Kim with this report. The United States is coming down hard on entities pursuant to the Iran, North Korea and Syria Non-Proliferation Act as it imposed additional sanctions on 30 foreign entities and individuals. According to the list released by the U.S. State Department on Friday, 11 entities and individuals were sanctioned for transferring sensitive items to Iran's ballistic missile program. Of the 11, nine are Chinese firms or Chinese individuals. The other two are a North Korean firm that had already been on another U.S. sanction list and a company based in the United Arab Emirates. Nineteen other foreign entities and individuals were sanctioned as information indicated that they transferred to or received from Iran, North Korea or Syria goods, services or technology banned under previous U.S. sanctions. Under the new sanctions, the designated entities will not be able to work with the U.S. government and they'll be forbidden from using federal assistance programs for two years. The last time Washington announced its sanctions list under the Iran, North Korea and Syria Non-Proliferation Act was back in July 2016, where Chinese and North Korean firms were listed. This sanctions list is garnering extra attention as it targets China. The Trump administration had been emphasizing the need for Beijing to play an active role in bringing change from North Korea. Earlier this month, the U.S. government fined one of China's largest technology companies, ZTE, 1.2 billion U.S. dollars for breaching U.S. sanctions and selling electronics to Iran and North Korea. Connie Kim, Arirang News.